Good morning, my name is Javon Diaz Paris, and this is Mass Communications Perspectives. This is my digital presentation of the film Do the Right Thing by directed, written and directed by Spike Lee. Um, my views of this film is that it's very interesting how diverse uh, the films is set up, uh, located in a, in a neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York, and how the the American culture is set up there in that neighborhood um, is interesting. Um, how they all uh, relate to each other in in a different way uh, that they don't even realize uh, the connection that they have with one another. Um, this film. I believe explains the beauty and ugliness of all of us on the inside basically forces us to dig deep and discover what our issues are um, as to why we do, refuse to do the right thing or make it hard to do the right thing uh, where we get our values where we get our views so that's what this um, report uh, this project that we were assigned to do that's what my assignment is about is you know, learning um, the different uh, theories that come up with how we maintain these views or look at society and different social issues or uh, different races and, and those sorts of minority groups. Um, I thought it was interesting that um, Henry Gates, uh, Du Bois, a professor of education at the Cornell University, uh, made a statement in the New York Times article on the web um, he said, that I think the film is an allegory of the melting pot uh, myth in the U.S. He um, also stated that the war of culture um, fought it out at the level of economics. So this was also a very social um, issues type of film uh, addressing some social and political issues there that was happening in New York and happening around the world. What a very relevant film um, that still today uh, due to the police brutality and uh, racial identification issues um, that people still facing today. You know, uh, I, I believe that Spike Lee chose this film to, you know, entertain and emotionally uh, resonate with the audience. Um, you know, him pointing out the different social issues and helping them embrace them with their stereotypes, but not pointing blame at anyone because everyone is to blame. I think that was the basis of what we got out of the film is that we all have different prejudices and um, different stereotypes due to the different myths that we're taught either uh, raised up in our family or through the mass communication media. Uh, the main thing that I want to portray in my project is that without love, Without the thought of love, there is no way to do the right thing. So doing the right thing is ultimately respecting others while with respecting yourself and learning how to embrace the differences of others. The perfect soliloquy that I've ever heard was said in this movie by Radio Rahim that says, let me tell you a story from the right hand to the left hand. And this is also uh, from a movie um, that Spike Lee took this from. Um, he goes in to say, it's a tale of good and evil. Hate, it's with the hand that Cain iced his brother. Love is these five fingers that go straight to the soul of the man. The right hand, the hand of love, the story of life, is this and then you hear the static one hand is always fighting the other hand and the left hand is always kicking much butt i mean i looks like the right hand but the love hand is finished but hold on stop the press the right hand is back and yet he got the left hand on the ropes now that's right oh it's definite devastating right and hate is hurt he's down left hand is ko'd by love Love always wins. Love always wins. You guys have a good night. Thank you for listening. 
This is Yvonne D. Ferris, Mass Communications Perspectives, uh, perspectives. and I'm out.